Hello, my name is Annalie Witte and I'm serving as Miss Hancock County 4-H Fair Queen 2014. Right now, I'm in the Hancock Hope House, our local homeless shelter, and today I'd like to tell you about an issue that is facing our community. Homelessness. Did you know that the fastest growing segment of the homeless population is women and children? And Hancock County is no exception to this. The Hancock Hope House is currently taking care of 18 people, half of which are children. We are fortunate that our community has a safe place for these families to go to. The Hancock Hope House has provide, been providing shelter to families in Rush, Shelby, and Hancock County for the past 24 years. They have provided 4,000 nights of shelter in the past year alone. Today, I'd like to tell you about some things you can do to help the Hancock Hope House stay up and running and continue to serve people into the future. I have three words for you. Donate, shop, and volunteer. The first thing you can do to help the Hope House thrive is donate. The warehouse thrift store is a huge part of the operating budget for the Hope House. Please donate your gently used items to the thrift store so we can keep the shelves and racks fully stocked. Next, you can do something for yourself to help the Hope House. Shop. Come out to the warehouse thrift store and find a bargain. Our prices are always low and you never know what you'll find. In fact, all the things I'm wearing right now came from the warehouse thrift store. They have high quality clothes. The warehouse thrift store sh supports the homeless shelter. Your purchases help change lives. And lastly, if you want to take a more active role in the Hope House, you can volunteer. Almost all of the staff running the warehouse thrift store are volunteers. We need friendly, hardworking people willing to give back to their community. Volunteers at the Hope House are directly impacting other people's lives. Now let's meet some of the people that the Hancock Hope House directly affects. I'm here with Amanda, and she's going to tell us a little bit about how she ended up at the Hope House and how the Hope House has impacted her. So can you tell me where you're from, Amanda? I'm, from, I'm originally from Greenfield, Indiana. So you've grown up here your whole life, and can you tell me a little bit about how you ended up here at the Hope House? Yes, um, I can definitely talk about that. Um, I really feel that... Um, because of our situation, um, losing our house and everything, um, once we lost our house, we, I kind of was going from three different hotels within a six month time period. Mm -hmm. And it really, at the time was really the only option that we had. And I you know, wanted to be able to show that, you know, I could, I could do it. I could take care of my kids and myself, and I really, really tried, and I was doing it all on my own, and, you know, knowing deep down inside, I really, there was, there had to be another answer. I knew that I needed to reach out and ask for help and kind of tuck away that pride there. Um, so I had a lady, um, actually that I had met, um, one of the social workers for my daughter's preschool, um, kind of talked with me, um, about her living situation and what was going on because she felt that, you know, there was something, you know, going on and, um, I talked to her about it and, you know, she had mentioned something about um, about the the Hope House, the shelter, and at first I I was very skeptical, and I, I didn't know because I just didn't want people to think you know I was unstable that I didn't know how to take care of my children that. 
I didn't want people to see that. And that's just, that's just how society looks at, they just, they look from the outside a lot of times and they don't really know the whole situation. Really the best thing that I did was to listen to my heart and I, I prayed about it and knew there was an answer and coming here was definitely the answer. When I first came here, I, I was skeptical, I was very scared. Um, I didn't know how the kids would feel mm -hmm. because we had never been in this situation, so I wouldn't have known. Um, I was scared. I didn't know what would come of it. I didn't know how they would feel. Um, but um, when we first came here, it was actually very very comforting, very, um, everybody was very, very nice and helpful and gave us everything we needed, um, clothes, food, some more to, you know, sleep, and, and that's, those are the basic important things. You know, so they made you feel were, safe. Yes, mm -hmm. we felt very safe, mm -hmm. and we still do, mm -hmm. and it was very, uh, it, very shocking and surprising to know, I mean, because I was so afraid at first. So I, I took the chance and I came here and it was the best thing that I had done because it, it, it doesn't always, I mean, it, it, it not only gives you opportunity to um, feel able to get back on your feet and to save money so that you can, so that we can find, you know, us a place to live, and um, it also taught, you know, it it gave me and my children structure mm -hmm. um, that I don't know that they quite had, mm -hmm. um, and actually, they love it here. They, it's like a family. They call it home. They do. They want to come back here every time I get them from school. Mommy, are we going home? Mm -hmm. They don't say, you know, they don't question, you know, going, are, are, you know, do we have a house yet? I mean, I know that's what they would want, mm -hmm. of course, but this has definitely taught me and them a lot of things. And I look at, I look at life very differently from a different view. Thank you so much for sharing all of that with us. We really appreciate it. And we're so glad that the Hope House has had such a positive effect on you and your kids.